Barak the Yahawa, Barakatha, Yahawa Shah, Barak the Yahawa, Barakatha, Yahawa Shah, Bashan, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Arise Ye. Lord will you are edified. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. Here in America is not our rest. Okay. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Now, let's focus on arise according to the Hebrew and in Strong's H6965 pronounced as Quam. And according to the lexicon, it goes into specifically after lying down. Sleep, meaning what? Coming out of the congregation of the dead. All right. Through the process of being born again. That's what it means to arise ye from a spiritual or a symbolic standpoint. This is 100% has to do with the spirit. Arise ye. To rise. Arise. Stand. Rise up. Stand up. After lying down. Coming out of that confused state. All right. Arise ye and depart. Let's focus on depart because this is further proof to prove that this is talking about from a spiritual standpoint only. Depart in the Hebrew goes into Strong's H3212, Yalak. And according to outline of biblical usage, to die, live, Manner of life, meaning what? How you conduct your ways of living, how you regulate your lifestyle. And this all starts with hearing the word, then going through that process of being born again. And then therefore, as as time progressed, more and more you began to walk in the spirit. Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk. According to the Greek. Strong's G, 4043. Peripateo. Peripateo. Which goes into 1B, Hebrew for to live, to regulate one's life, to conduct one's self. Micah 2 and 10. It's talking about arise ye and depart from a spiritual standpoint only. For this is not your rest. And when we get Revelation 18 and 4, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, and this voice will be in the Hebrew. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Now, this is the elect being beamed up in those ships from the destruction of America. That ye be not partakers of her sins. What sins? All the wickedness America has done. Since her birth, 
that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. The plagues is referring to nuclear destruction. And come out or Salakia come referring to the Greek goes into Strong's G 1831 ex Erchamai ex Erchamai and according to outline of biblical usage metaphor to be to come forth from physically and that's literal this will happen literally to come forth physically, the elect only. First Thessalonians 4 and 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. And this will happen. All right. During this time frame come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues then we which are alive back in 1 Thessalonians 4 and 17 and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Revelation 21 and 2 and I John saw the holy city of people the elect of Israel New Jerusalem coming down from the Most High out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband coming down and this will happen after the destruction of America more proof that Revelation 18 and 4 come out of her is referring to a physical sense, right? And Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is referring to a spiritual sense. And this can only happen Psalm 110 and verse 1, the Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord Yahweh Shah, sit you at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Lord will you edify Shalom.